613 the time in California, California Aeronautical University recently announced a new academy in partnership with the U.S. Air Force for more on how they're teaching and inspiring the next generation of flyers. We have our own Tony Salazar. Tony, you interested? Did you ever want to be a pilot at all? You know, Aaron, I never thought about being, becoming a pilot, but, you know, after climbing into that, you know, aircraft right next to me, I was like, you know what, maybe this is not a bad second career choice, and who knows? You might just find me here maybe trying to become a pilot one day, but here we're talking about a very, really new academy here at the California Aeronautical University in partnership with the U.S. Air Force. And so to tell us more about the academy, the impact this is going to have, I want to go ahead and bring you Lieutenant Sakamoto here. So good morning, Lieutenant Sakamoto. How are we doing? Hey, pretty good. How about you? Hey, I'm doing great. You know, this is an amazing academy you guys have going on here recently new recently unveiled here with this new really partnership with the u.s air force so really tell me more about this new academy yeah so this academy is called the aim high flight academy we got seven we got three sessions here at cau but we got over seven co other colleges across the u.s and the world doing this so what this is is we take ages 16 to 18 high schoolers and air force rotc cadets and air force academy cadets come out to these part 141 college aeronautical colleges air force sponsors everything flight dining dorms living expenses everything we pay them to come out and just live breathe aviation for three weeks and hopefully at the end of it they're certified to solo so what that means is they're going to be able to fly this airplane that you, that's back there all alone by themselves that is so amazing and so you know really quickly how long does this uh, academy run and uh really i mean what kind of participants are we talking are we talking like high schoolers you know fresh you know fresh uh graduates who who are we talking about yeah so this program uh each session is three weeks long there's going to be three sessions uh at this school and there's going to be other schools that have this session so what they're going to uh Sorry, what was the question? No, 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 you're good. So how can maybe maybe somebody sign up for this academy oh, if they're interested? You yeah. know, because this is pretty exciting stuff that we're talking here. How can somebody sign up? Yeah, so if you're a high schooler between the age of 16 to 18, reach out to your local Gold Bar recruiter, which is me. I recruit for Air Force ROTC and becoming a pilot in the United States Air Force. Reach out to them. They'll give you more information. As long as you got, as long as you got a 3.0 GPA or above, we'll take your application. We'll talk to you and we'll get you into these programs. That is so amazing. And let me just tell you, I can tell his passion. And really quick, I just want to give him a quick shout out because he was actually enrolled in this program, I believe out there in Oklahoma, is that right? I did, I did this program three years ago. So it's surreal being coming back as a commissioned officer in the United States Air Force and talking to these kids about airplanes, aviation, Air Force life, and just mentoring these kids to go on the right path, whether that be commercial airlines or whether they want to be a fighter pilot in the world's greatest air force. Yeah, no, that is very true. And so right now, I also, I also want to bring in the provost here at California Aeronautical University, Mr. Dr. Barry. Dr. Barry, you know, good morning. Thank you for waking up early. Thank I mean, you, you know, this is a really great academy from what Lieutenant Sakamoto was saying. So really, why did the California Aeronautical University decide to partner with them? Yeah, we're dedicated to aviation. You know whether it's a mechanic or whether it's a pilot and so when uh, about two or three years ago at one of the big conferences our president Matt Johnson met you know some the Air Force aim high people and so it was a great opportunity so the last two or three years have been working on that because it's bringing young people into the the field that we love and an opportunity to go out and fly and and maybe take on their whole career and something great for their life and so, you know, this is something that not only is unique to California Aeronautical University, you were telling me a little earlier this morning, this is something that other colleges are also doing as well, right? So we have uh, a total of 72 students this summer that are from around the, the country, but we also have uh, some of these programs are going on, one in Japan. Uh, we've got a student from Japan coming here. So they try to select them, not put them in their home state. They send them someplace else so they get a full exposure to somewhere different. And then they, they decide whether they want to go on and continue to get their private pilot certificate or, you know, as uh, Lieutenant Sakamoto, uh, go on and get a commission. That is the best part. And so, again, this is, again, just an amazing academy. And as uh, Dr. Barry mentioned, you know, students from all over the world really come to right here at California Aeronautical University to, you know, enroll in this program. And one of those students is Alondra here. She's actually from Puerto Rico. So, you know, good morning. Thanks for hanging out with us. I mean, as I mentioned, you're from Puerto Rico. I mean, first of all, how do you like Bakersfield so far? Um, I love it. It's it's cold for me. <laughs> it's a bit cold, 
but the people it's so well they're so welcoming um they always have a smile and yeah i just love it and so now t t talk to me more about your experience here in this academy the aim high flight academy i mean what have you been learning so far what has really stood out to you um besides flying um being comfortable by flying a plane i feel like that was the most exciting but nerve-wracking mm -hmm. <laughs> it was it was definitely a whole bunch of emotions and feelings and i also learned a lot about risk management and how to emergency procedures um obviously we're gonna solo so we need to know those stuff um a lot of theory of how the airplane is can fly in the sky because for me that was something that how can an airplane fly in the sky right no that's a great question huh? but <laughs> from a lot of studying and the amazing job of my instructors my teacher shout out to kevin yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> um i've learned a lot and yeah it's it's been amazing and really quickly we are running out of time but what is your message to maybe prospective students out there watching maybe want to join in on this academy as well what's your message to them um definitely do it if you want to if you're thinking about being a pilot but you're not sure i would recommend this program i feel like um if you have a doubt this will definitely make it clear and yeah don't worry where you come from um how do you look how do you look how, what's your language it doesn't matter people here are amazing and they're gonna make you feel welcome that is so amazing thank you so much for your time this morning and again this is just a brand new academy really just unveiled in the past couple believe it, weeks if not even months and again this is a brand new academy and we're gonna have all the details up on our website in a few hours at bakersfieldnow.com but for now reporting here at california aeronautical university i'm tony salazar for eyewitness news aaron i'll send these back over to you I love it. And don't forget our own chief meteorologist, Miles Muzio. He's a teacher there at the California Aeronautical University. Mm -hmm. Glad you're there, Tony. All right. Hey, when we come back.